Welcome back to the program. It's right now about 33 minutes after 6 a.m. East Coast time. I want to introduce you to Heather Hellman. How are you? It's good to see you again, Heather is sir. one of our cleaning experts. Did you know that your sponge could actually be the dirtiest thing you have in your home? Your sponge could be dirtier than your toilet bowl. They are harbingers for germs and bacteria, mm -hmm. and they usually tend to smell. Heather has something that replaces every sponge in your house, lasts longer, works better, and saves you money. Do you know why your sponges smell? I'm assuming it's from bacteria. It is. And do you know why bacteria gets into sponges? Is it all the little nooks and crannies? It's the nooks and crannies, and it's the fact that they absorb. It's all that moisture. Okay, all right. That the, makes sense. The reason the dish scrubby is different is because it doesn't absorb. All the polyester fibers that we have here are not going to absorb any of the uh, odors, and therefore it's not going to smell. This is common sense. We all think sponges the kitchen, sponges, cleaning the bathroom. You don't need absorbency because this will do the job of scrubbing. It will not scratch. You get a big set here, there's eight of them. And how long will they last, Heather? Over a hundred days <laughs> of daily use. The With, one that you have in your hand there right now, uh -huh. I've been using that since Christmas. Here is a brand new one. Now, if you had not told me that, by the way, Heather, I wouldn't know which one was, <laughs> was the old one. And which one is the new one? And they're all like little fruits. So we've got little strawberries and we've got little mangoes and we've got... So this is the one that you've had since Christmas. Correct. There's no odor to that at all. It smells exactly like the brand new one, which is no odor at all. Right, exactly. And it's the unique layering of the polyester fibers that makes this such a, an efficient scrubber. Now, okay. this is not a scourer. So if it's a burnt on mess, it's not going to work. Okay. But it's going to be able to get into all those nooks and crannies. And I want and, the camera to be able to pick this, this up. And this is tomato sauce. Tomato sauce that has stayed here on this lid. All those nooks and crannies that are so difficult for us to be able to get in with a traditional sponge, our dish scrubby is going to be able to get down in there and get that right off. But you're not only going to be able to use it on your dishes, you're going to be able to use it on your fruit or okay. in your bathroom or on your dog bowls. But look how easy it was to get that off of there. Now, if we take a look, if the camera's able to get in here, I want to rinse this off because I want you to see how clean we're able to get this scrubby. Okay. All that you're going to have to do is rinse it off, and typically you rinse it off under water. But if right. we take a look here, we don't see any food particles left in there. What that means is you're going to be able to throw this in the top rack of your dishwasher. Beautiful. And all of the food particles are going to come right off. So it sanitizes it each night that you use it. It absolutely does. Okay. Now, if you're somebody I like the little watermelons. I don't know why. Those are my favorites. Well, we'll use that one. If you're worried about <laughs> cross-contamination, you can use the okay, watermelon to clean your fruits and vegetables because you just saw I used and, the grape and, to clean my dishes. And by the way, definitely clean your vegetables. Uh, there's things that happen in the American food world. As a farmer, and I've been farming now for 25 years, uh, I'm still shocked by it. But did you know that almost every apple that you buy at the grocery store has paraffin or wax on it? Mm -hmm. The only reason why that wax is there is so that it looks shiny. That's it. Aesthetically pleasing. So Absolutely. It's kind of nice to be able to scrub that and get that stuff off before you ingest it. I don't know about you. Cleaning a whisk is one of the most difficult things to do with yeah, a sponge. It's like a spoke wheel, yes. What these polyester fibers are going to be able to do is get directly in there. And I want the camera to be able to see this. We're going to be able to just work the polyester fibers right into that whisk. Okay. And we're going to be able to get all of that spaghetti sauce off of there so easily. Now, what it is, is it's the unique layering that's going to get this excuse me, it's the unique layering of those polyester fibers that is going to make it very an easy scrubber, but it's going to last. It's going to be durable for you, but it's not going to scratch. So whether you're using it on your silicone mm -hmm. whisk, or if we come on over here, we have a wine glass. How many of us have left wine glasses out overnight? Everything is stuck there right on the I bottom. I get every drop out. Uh, <laughs> I try to get every drop out, but we're going to be able to see how easy it is for us to get down into those tight places. Because, again, we're going to right down in the bottom there. Uh huh. Get that lipstick stain right off. So the eight pieces that you're bringing to us, we're looking at easily a year's supply. A year's for supply. For the average family. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. But what's also great is and you're going to And what do they ask you to spend? on these sponges that you've got to replace over and over and over again. Certainly. 
Absolutely. And you're going to be able to get into all of those tight places um, that a sponge is so difficult to be able to get in. But remember, it's they're not going to smell because they're made out of polyester and they're not going to absorb. So this is not meant for getting um, spills off of your counter. But what this is meant for doing is getting into the bottom here of that coffee mug. Okay. I want the camera to be able to pick up on that.